Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about the Custom Sax by Ernest Emerson. And when we're talking about a custom, we're talking about a knife that is being handmade and hand ground by Ernest Emerson himself, okay? And in this case, you can tell that it's a custom and I have a video about that by looking at that label, right? Emerson Speckward Knife, that's the logo for an Emerson Custom. Okay, and in this case, it's not just a custom, it's also a prototype. I'm aware of three prototypes on the SAX model, so this is one of those, okay? Now, the SAX. The SAX is an Asian design that it goes all the way back to the Vikings, okay? And when looking at history and Googling some history about the SAX, this was a knife that it was not just used as a fighter, but it was an utilitarian knife. They used it a lot for cooking, a lot for hunting, and then they will use it for self-defense as well. Okay, so it's a very, very uh, famous design. Just like in, in America, we see the buoy like an all overall utilitarian self-defense fighter style of knife. Okay, just like the buoy, the sax was that style of knife for the Vikings, okay, and very, very legendary. We saw the production of the saw of the sax being released in 2018 by Emerson Knives, okay? So be aware that they are uh, production releases of the sax by Emerson Knives and also a mini sax. Now, let's do a comparison with our classic, the CQC7. So you can see, in this case, the full-size sax is pretty big and I love it. It's a nine inch overall blade and no blade, overall knife. And the blade length is 3.9 inches. Okay. And I love, I am, you know, I love that style of size for it. Okay. Now let's compare it with the spider cut tenacious that it's very, very, you know, everybody has a tenacious around, right? Tenacious is smaller, like we will expect. And then the Buck 110, in this case, this is the Pro Hunter Buck 110, okay? Now you can see the sack is a little bit bigger than the Buck 110, okay? And we also have a fixed blade from Emerson that is inspired by the sack's design. And let me see if I can put it in frame here. Right, and you can see that the fixed blade, very, you know, it has the same lines as the folder is bigger in terms of blades, but that handle is pretty much kind of the same dimensions in terms of length, okay? But be aware that we also have a fixed blade that I'm carrying this today. It comes with a sheath, okay? And you can just carry it pretty easily. Let me put this back. Now, let's talk about this custom. Again, it's a prototype, so pretty, you know, pretty unique, and it has these beautiful grinds that I love from Ernest Emerson, and I can look at this blade all day long. One thing is that you will notice how pointy it is, but it's pretty thick, okay? It's pretty thick stock, so, you know, you need to be careful, but it's not going to you know, split on you just like that. You know, it's not going to break just that easy. Uh, beautiful, beautiful blade. Okay, you have your Emerson Speckware knife. This guy has a V grind, so he's also ground on this side of the blade. Okay, again, beautiful, beautiful. I love that Warren Cliff style. Obviously, it's not a Warren Cliff, it's called a sax, but that linear blade right here and then with that point there allows me to do very precise cutting, right? If I need to, I can hold the knife like this and do some very, very precise cutting or, you know, taking out splinters or whatever, you know, very, very, very nice. I love this style of blade and how surgical it can get, okay? Now, it has the wave on it. it in the in terms of handle, like every custom, my favorite, my favorite style 
of handles for me will be that green micarta with titanium bolsters handles, right? Big blasted titanium bolsters right there. Your green micarta right there. And you have this, this finger guard here and that wave with that gym pin that allows you, like a lot of Emersons, to register where you are, right? It's like point of contact that will tell you when you open the knife if you are holding it correct or not in that front grip. At least in my case, that's one of the telltales. When I open the knife or I wave it, I just, it's a tactile feel that I know where I am at in the knife and I know I'm secure and ready to rock, okay? That's one of those things. Then you have this little belly here with this curvature and then this curve right here that in my case with my hand, it sets my front grip for thrusting, okay? I don't know how to explain that. You need to feel it, but that curvature will land right here in this portion of my hand. And then in this type of grip, it's more of a thrusting style of grip in my case, okay? Reverse grip feels oh, excellent, excellent with the sacks. And this one is more of a hammer, you know, style of grip right there. And usually when I'm doing a lot of utilitarian work with a sax knife, I use this grip a lot, even in the fixed blade. This style of grip for, you know, those precision utilitarian cuts that I'm doing, even with food, right? Because that straight, that straight blade, I need to angle it a little bit depending what type of precision I want with it. And this is a very, very common style of grip that I will use with the, the sacks or worn clips or that style of knife, okay? Uh, other than that, one peculiar thing about this, this custom is that it comes with standoffs instead, instead of a backspacer. Usually all customs in here, I have a super roadhouse come with a backspace and in this case, you know, you have those standoffs. So that's that's pretty different there. You don't see that a lot, okay? Then you have your normal Benchmade style clip and titanium liner that are pretty thick uh, in there for the lockup. One thing I should say, this prototype is one of the smoothest custom I own. You know, I can't even, I don't know if it's that the blade is so big, but you can even drop shot if I want to. I don't like to do that. But, you know, it's very, very smooth, the action on this one. This one, my six and my roadhouses are very, very, very smooth with those washers right there. So excellent, excellent execution on this knife. Another thing I love about the sax is that it's accessible right-handed or left-handed, handed, sorry with that thumb stud right there. And I love the profile when it's closed like this. I don't know where it is, but I love how that, how that blade looks, you know, and then you see a little bit of the grind right there. I just, just sexy, I don't know, just for me. I'm a knife nut, right? So for me, all those little details, I just love in terms of how those lines are going through this design, okay? And again, this is a sax, you know, I think I love this design. I don't own a production version of it, but I own two customs. I'll show the other one in another video. And again, it's one of those utilitarian, if you're looking for a straight edge like that, you know, a straight blade, like a sax, like a Warren Cliff, you know, this is a great, great choice for those guys that like this style a straight shot style of blade, okay? Well, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through Instagram, YouTube comments, or again, in any of the Facebook groups or USN forums, okay? Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.